folks to a gameplay of Plot for Dramatic Effect. Yeah, I tried doing this earlier. Some things came up. So, here we are. I'm going to try to do this one more time. One more time. Cause... <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Let's try this again, shall we? Alright, like I said, I've already played through this game before. And... It was pretty good. Did a lot of awesome things. But now it's going to ask me if I want to start a new story. Because it will overwrite my progress that I've already done. Well, yes. Yes, I do. We'll restart this story over again. So here we go. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully.
Mike? It's Hannah. No. Hey, Hannah. That looks like somebody wants to. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Dude. Jeremiah Craig. Hey, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good Jeez, friend of mine. Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us mm. all. Mm hmm. Yep. I got your name. Drunk. Maybe we should start with a little. Start with a little what? Making out and see where it goes from there. Yeah. Is it? Is it really? again. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messing around, yeah. man. That wasn't serious. You Some people jerk. can't take a joke, man. Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? Yeah. You no, know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit! <laughs> Not paying attention. Let's go the safe route. Might be a better idea.
Is it here? Let's walk a little faster. Hello? 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 Oh, what's this? Ooh. Oh no, it's a death totem. Death totems. The possible, of, the possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will come become clear. Let's inspect. Yes, yes. Looks like somebody falls. Bada bing, bada boom, dead. Events from the past. Just a muggly dude. Alright, alright. Let's get back to the game. See every day in the woods at night. Giant flame throwing thing. Oh. Anna. Anna. Hello. Anna. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Yeah, running sounds like a good idea. Who's the phone? I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Okay. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Mm -hmm. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And oh, I want is. to help you see it through. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. Even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Ah, uh, okay. All right. 
We will start with a simple exercise. Hmm. Could you please pick up Kurt? My friend. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Really? Well, hmm. Scarecrow in a creepy corn patch with a barn. Hmm. Looks like the beginning of your typical B horror movie. Yes, yes. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful. Oh. Interested. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Oh, yes, it would, most definitely. Huh. And what if I told you? That this cottage was haunted. Oh, I wouldn't care. Uh, a level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is fighting or something. There's just nothing in that picture. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. Oh, really? Fun. Sorry. Oh, but we're just getting started. Investigate that in our next session, shall we? Now, how much am I paying you? Now, seriously, how much are you getting paid by the hour? Like, this wasn't even an hour-long session, man. It's like what, two minutes? And for the rest of the time, you're just gonna get paid stirring that coffee. Ah, uh, yes. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. 
Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For oh, I'm sure. For the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> yeah, it isn't every teen that just want to party like they're porn stars. Anyone under the age of 13 really shouldn't be watching this, but... That's on your parents. Sam, Hannah's best friend, she's diligent, considerate, adventurous. That's Sam. Cable car. There's no one down here waiting for her. this young girl. So let's just walk a creepy path at 2102, was it? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> What's that said? The gates busted, climb oh, over. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to ex expect this girl to climb over. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Yeah, really? Like, seriously? We're going to ex ex expect her to climb over. Well, let's go over. What's this? There's a little shiny spot over here. Always go for the shiny, folks. Always go for the shiny. We're going to climb that. Hmm, the quick or the safe? Let's do the quick. Let's not this, make this any more of a problem than it already is. Oh, 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 I hit the wrong button. I wasn't paying attention. Let's try that again. Go, you're real slow. Climb, climb. That was a climb. She jumped. What? Really? In a skirt. In a skirt and snow boots. I guess only Canadians, right? Because you wouldn't find an American doing that. 
Somebody's like what they see. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams or prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. If it was black, it meant death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. If it was red, it meant danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown, it was loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow meant guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And of course, the white meant fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Hmm. Oh, look. Oh, what is this? A totem. A totem for me. Yes, we've read the tutorial. Let's go. Dead? Oh, it's black. Where's the yellow? Yellow. Let's check out the guidance totem. We've already read all this. Yellow. Inspect the zoo that says it's already there. And then there's that. Hmm. Wonder what happens there. The match of the past. Ah, oh, jeez, bloody! Advert your eyes, children. Advert your eyes. People don't have nightmares there. All right. I want to view my collection. Wait, wait, what are you looking at over here? What is over here? That you are so wanting to look at? Nothing. Nothing. What's this? The past is beyond our control. The past is beyond our control. Horrible. Close it back. Maybe I shouldn't look at this stuff. Well, yes. Sam, Pardon. hey, you made it. Oh, well, this is Chris. He has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Folks, that is Chris. Oh, so I found something. Kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. Blow your mind. Ooh, look, another shiny. Always check the shiny. Oh man, look at this. Wanted. Milgram nice. Victor. He is male. Six foot two. Like someone thought so. He was in the oh, Blackwood Pines, the last seen on March 16th, 
wanted in connection with a first degree arson events as well as various death threats. And of course, name with any information, blah 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 blah. This was posted seven. This was posted on July of 1998. Mm -hmm. So, what do we got Oh. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Place Chris. Here goes. I teach you how to aim a gun. It's not too hard. Check on the status updates just quite yet. What, Chris, you wanna look at it now? Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Yeah, it does. that over here. found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Right? It's creepy. That's for you. Oh, real gentleman. Pines Hotel and Sanatorium. What a crazy place to set up house for a healthy no body and mind. Yeah. A place for a camera. Huh. 
it's right outside here. Weird. Do do do. Anything else in here? No. We already looked at that. Finally, you coming? No. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some seeds, but okay. I guess I'm so. What if I don't want to? What if? What if I don't want to go in here? Just like going to the prom. <laughs> what? You took her to the prom? Yeah. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, you know, kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact, Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. <laughs> Boom. new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, irreverent. That's Jess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <laughs> what the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! Well, 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 what do we have? Chris! Here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split were together. Oh, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Emily, my sex. 
She's resourceful, persuasive, and intelligent. And also a major biatch. I don't think it would have been like it was pretty. And we have Matt, which is Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, active, and a little bit of a dude. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Ah, oh, jeez. What do we got going on here? <laughs> do, 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 do. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, it's Mike, Emily's ex. He's intelligent, driven, persuasive, and a douche. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Mm -hmm. well, I thought they would move past all this. It buds, but... Yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Ashley has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, forthright. That's Ashley. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Oh scare my you. gosh! Oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm not really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh. It, Let me check it out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? 
For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. No, really, Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No. Alright. Uh, sure, if you say so. It, it, it's for the best, man. You know, 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 Check what we got going on here. Of course, as you see, we have the uh, wanted poster, which we already read to you. Aha! This is your butterfly effect. This is why it says status update. So let's inspect the first one. Sam respected Chris's privacy, and Chris was happy to see Sam. Chris was happy to see Sam, which in turn, Chris continued to trust Sam. And, and, and that's the end of the any of your business, Butterfly. Let's go to Rats with Bushy Tails. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel, so nature remained in the balance. Yes, nature remained in the balance. The soul of discretion. Ashley discouraged Matt from using the telescope, and Matt didn't see Mike and Emily flirting, but we know that's what they were really doing. And it has more as you go through the different parts of the story. We'll check in on those later. Right now, let's go back to Jess. Read the book or check your phone. This day and age, kids always want to check their phone. It's so we'll read a book. Something a little different. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing! Crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! oh ah. I... Hey! Oh, snap! Oh. Butterfly effect. <laughs> Hello? Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike! You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Hit the bird. Oh no. Damn, Jess. I know, I know. Oh, no. Poor birdie. Poor little Tweety birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. <sighs> oh, my God. Michael? Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well... I can think of it at least one way. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Oh, she's gonna give him noogies. Noogie. Did you hear that? What? What the? Uh, 
Yes, sounds like. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us. Yeah, I mean, wow, if you hadn't pulled us out of the way. Toast. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Toast. I was already toast. Mm. Uh oh. Hello again. Goodbye again. And how are we feeling? Ah, oh, it could be better, thank you. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. What if I don't want to? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. I don't have any anxiety. Book, turn the pages. Uh, you will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Women worry me. Ah, I don't like heights. Uh, really don't like heights, man. <laughs> straight from the door. <laughs> what? N nothing? Damn, what kind of doctor are you? Clowns. I don't like clowns. Oh yeah, it's really enlightening, Doc. We have roaches. Uh, roaches, man. Roaches. Uh, well, needles over gore. Definitely needles over gore. Nothing. <sighs> Clowns. Over storms, definitely. Storms are an act of God. This is very interesting. Oh, is it? Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> uh huh. Cockroaches, clowns, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> what? I hate to see what you do on a Friday night. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I <laughs> promise we'll talk again very soon. Oh, I'm sure we will, Doc. I'm sure we will. Poor unfortunate bastard. And this is where we say adieu. So long, my friend.